The nation 1114 ends with the pyramid inch measure inside the altar to the Lord. It is the Revelation 1114, quoting the second woe is past and behold the third woe cometh quickly. The great pyramid has two measures, the pyramid layers, starting with the base that continues up to the 204th layer. The first solar eclipse represents March the 17th, 1923, after lunation zero was set by astronomers on December 18th, 20, 1922. The chambers are all within 1114 pyramid inches, with each inch equaling a lunation of the moon, 29.53052 days. There's a diagram you're all familiar with. Now, the solar eclipse that occurred on the 14th of November 2012, sun rose at 4.54, which is the height of the completed pyramid with the capstone in... Sorry, it's the height of the uh, pyramid up to the missing capstone in feet, 4.54. The sun set at 18.14, the time of maximum eclipse, 8.12, and it was a total eclipse visible in the southern hemisphere. The next solar eclipse occurs on May the 10th, 2013, when the sun will rise at 6.16 and set at 17.15 for a maximum of 10.31. It's an annual eclipse and will be visible in the south. The eclipse that occurred on November the 14th measured 942 miles to Yahweh's rebirth location, and that is the verse count total for the number of times, the number of verses that Jesus is found in the King James 16:11. Now, the coming eclipse on May the 10th at the 25 degrees south latitude is at a longitude of 116.26 degrees east, and that, of course is the width of the antechamber to the pyramid in pyramid inches. Now, at 5.55 on June the 17th, 2013, the moon position over the Earth is 6752 miles from the 116.26 degree longitude. And that's a reference to Job 40.22, the shady trees cover him with their shadow. The willows of the brook compass him about. So 6752 means shade or shadow, which of course is what the eclipse is. This eclipse will occur over Western Australia when the sun will rise at 6.52 a.m. and set 1101 minutes later at 1743. 1101, of course, is Yahweh's rebirth date in 1944, January the 11th. Now, the 11... Sorry, the 116.26 number was Yahweh's age in weeks when he married the whore of Lithgow, 1162.6 weeks old. It's also the age difference in years between Yahweh's oldest daughter and his youngest daughter, stepdaughter Rhiannon, 11.62 years. And it's also the age difference in days between Rhiannon's mother, Michelle Nye, and himself, 11 6.2.6 .6 days. Here's the antechamber. The length of the antechamber, 116.2603 pyramid inches, is equal to the diameter of a circle whose circumference is 365.24235 pyramid inches, and that, of course, is a solar year, if in days. There's the measure of the eclipse along the 116.26 East longitude right. off Western Australia. Now the eclipse occurs at the moment of lunation 1118, which is Revelation 1118. Revelation 1118, quoting, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou should judge, shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets and to the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldst destroy them which destroy the earth. And they, of course, are the Jews who call themselves Jews and are not. Moving on to Revelation 11:19, And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament, and there were lightings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail. Matthew 29, quoting, And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head. 
and a reed in his right hand, and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. Greek Dictionary 11.19 means knee. Matthew 27.29, that number from 2596 and 2480 is to overpower and prevail against. Now the last eclipse of 2013 is Yahweh's grandfather's birthday, November the 3rd, 2013. And the May the 10th eclipse is the date that he left Australia in 1989 and when he met Michelle Nye in 1997, eight years later. It was Mary Magdalene who caused the crucifixion, a dim-witted, jealous fool that he had driven seven devils out. But as warned, the same return with seven times as many to make the person far worse a child of the devil than before. Yahweh had to go to the cross, and he had to get a fool to achieve it. The reference of Mark 16.9 Now when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. Greek Dictionary 169 meaning impure, ceremonially, morally lured, or especially demonic, foul, and unclean. Now, on June the 17th, at the moonrise of 5.55 p.m., 5.55 is the Christ number in the King James Bible, the word Christ found within 522 verses 555 times. The measure, 3481.7 miles from Rome, yes, 555 also was the lightning strike of uh, June, uh, sorry, February the 11th, the date that the date that uh, Benedict announced his resignation and also Yahweh's birthday in 1909. Here it is. Revelation 11:15 the seventh angel sounded and there were great voices in heaven saying the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ and he shall reign forever and ever. The 11th of February was the beginning of Lunation 11.15, signified by the resignation of Benedict the 16th. And 3.80, Greek from 3.03, 4.428 to unroll a scroll or, scroll or volume open. The measure 3.481 from 3478, an Israelite or descendant of Israel. 3478 is Israel and in Greek is Nazarene, while 3481 in Greek is Nathan, which is the genetic line from David to Jesus and, and Yahweh himself today. Quoting 1115, And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign for ever and ever. So when Pope Benedict uh, uh, resigned on the 11th of February 2013, it aligned with the 1115th sol, uh, lunation, announcing that the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. 11.16, And the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped God. Lunation 11.16 actually began on March the 11th, which is the date that we first made contact, and began the week-long conversation with Pope Emeritus Benedict the 16th. 11.17, Saying, We give thanks... O Lord God Almighty, which art and wast and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned. Lunation 11.17 begins April the 10th. Lunation 11.18 begins on May the 10th. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldst give reward unto thy servants the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, 
small and great, and shouldst destroy them which destroy the earth. Lunation 1119 begins on June the 8th, 2013, quoting, And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament, and there were lightnings and voices and thunderings, and an earthquake and great hail. And here it is here, just recapping with Benedict resigning on February 11th, 2013, Lunation 11.15 began at 7.22 UTC time. Now it began with the striking of St. Peter's Basilica spire by lightning, the time on the Vatican clock tower, the Christ number at 5.55 p.m. And the seventh angel sounded and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever. There is a clock tower showing the time. The next new moon started 1954 universal time on the 11th of March 2012, which is 11, 6, lunation 1116 and revelation 1116 and also the date we began communicating directly with Pope Emeritus Benedict the 16th. And the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worship. The next new moon begins 9.38 UTC on April the 10th, 2013 and is Lunation 11.17, which is Revelation 11.17, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art and wast and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned. The new moon after that, Lunation 1118 beginning 10th of May at 00.31 UTC, Revelation 1818, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldst give reward unto thy servants the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldst destroy them which destroy the earth. The new moon after that, Lunation 1119, begins at 1559 UTC, June the 8th, 2013, and is Revelation 1119. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there were seen in his temple the ark of his testament, and there were lightnings and voices and thunderings, and an earthquake and great hail. The Revelation chapter 12 goes back to times past, and so all ends with Revelation chapter 11. Now the Jesus statue in Rio was completed and dedicated on October the 12th, 1931. This occurred 4474 days prior to January the 11th, 1944, when Jesus in the flesh was reborn the Christ. 4474 in Hebrew is from Mashal, to have dominion or to see or to rule. See Genesis 4910. So what it is saying is that the Jesus statue predicts when Christ will be reborn to the earth. And it's found only in Daniel, Daniel 11, 3 through 5, Hebrew, Dictionary 4474, Mim Shol from 49.10, a ruler, rule, dominion, that ruled. Quoting, And a mighty king shall stand up, that shall rule with great dominion, and do according to his will. And when he shall stand up, his kingdom shall be broken, and shall be divided toward the four winds of heaven, and not to his posterity nor according to his dominion which he ruled, for his kingdom shall be plucked up, even for others beside those. And the king of the south shall be strong, and one of his princes, and he shall be strong above him, and have dominion. His dominion shall be a great dominion. 49.10, Marshal, to rule, reign, ruling, have power. Here is the lightning strike, the distance in days. Now this is the distance in days from the dedication of the statue on October the 12th, 1931. The distance to Rome from the statue measures 6414 and means magistrate or judge. 
and the sunlight duration for Rio on the date of the Redeemer statue. Dedication, October the 12th, 1931, was 7.49 minutes. Arak, corresponding to 7.48, and its sense of reaching to a given point, to suit, be meet, and in Greek Dictionary 749, the High Priest, who of course is Christ. Now to explain why the date June the 17th is the Marriage Supper of the Lamb. Yahweh's conception as Jesus was September 11th in 3 BC, 280 days later, he was born on June the 17th, 2 BC, when the sunrise to sunset for Bethlehem was 855 minutes and the moonrise occurred 33 minutes later for sunrise to moonrise, 888 minutes, being Jesus in Greek gematria. And this is why the Jews brought down the Twin Towers on 9-11 in 2001, not to mention the Third Tower also collapsed in a freefall de detonation, even though it was not struck by a jet. The base of the pyramid was laid out and fine lines were chiseled to the corner sockets, the footing, therefore 36524.24 pyramid inches. But then the first layer of masonry was moved inwards, 286.1 pyramid inches, reducing the 36524.24 to 36238.14 pyramid inches. Brings us to Solomon 3.11. Go forth, O ye daughters of Zion, and behold, King Solomon with the crown, where with his mother crowned him in the day of his espousals, and in the day of the gladness of his heart. Espousals in the Hebrew dictionary is 2861, and it's a wedding espousal. Give a daughter away in marriage. Here's the inward line reduction of the 286.1 pyramid inches corner from the in the corner sockets chisel lines, chisel lines. And, then shrunk in to and then shrunk in 286.1 pyramid inches the capstone of course was too large by 286.1 inches the height of the pyramid with the capstone in place, 5813 pyramid inches. Now if the base was left at 36524.24, then we have a height of 5813 pyramid inches. The math is 36524.24 divided by 4 divided by pi. Then as the earth and the altar to the Lord was built to indicate Solomon, as he married forbidden women, descended from Lot, the Ammonite and Moabites, and received 666 talents of gold from his wives' nations. We have the 666 and the abomination that led to Sodom revived, and Freemasonry and the Jews who say they are Jews but are not, from John 8.44. When Yahweh met Mary Magdalene on May 10, 1997, and we know she caused the cross, then today Michelle Nye was unaware her daughter was born in Geelong, Australia, when the sunlight was 888 minutes, and she would bring forth, via her children's father, Jade Nixon, a saint. She would bring forth Yahweh's mother, Daphne Golightly, and his mother, Mary Jesu Maria, in her two daughters, Alaska and then Trinity Lee. She, 8.8888, eight years old, on Yahweh's 69th birthday on January 11th in 2013. She was also born 888 weeks after he married devil number two, Pauline Lucas. February 16th, 1987, that should be February 14th, 1987. Trinity born on February 21st, 2004. Now when Yahweh met Mary Magdalene, he discovered the latitude of her home was 5,813 kilometers from the South Pole, and the distance around the latitude of that home is 31,680 kilometers, and is Lord 800, Jesus 888, plus Christ 1480 added together is 3168. In the numbers, then, we have Solomon and espousals being 2861. 
286.1 pyramid inches. Solomon 311, go forth, O ye daughters of Zion, and behold King Solomon with the crown, wherewith his mother crowned him in the day of his espousals, and in the day of gladness of his heart. Bathsheba, an adulteress, punishable by stoning, tricked David, and he gave the, the throne to Solomon, for if his older brother via a righteous woman became king, she and Solomon would be killed. When Solomon became king, he immediately killed his brother Adoniah. His name means worshipper of Yah. Hebrew 138. Next we have the 36524.24 Lex less 286.1 which is 36238.14 so we read 3623 from Jeremiah 2.2 2, Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem saying thus saith the Lord I remember thee the kindness of thy youth the love of thine espousals when thou wentest after me in the wilderness in the land that was not sown Solomon espousals Hebrew dictionary 3623 from 3618, bridehood, in the plural, espousal. So we have Solomon 311 and Jeremiah 2.2. 2. Add 311 and 2.2 2 equals 333, equals Freemasonry, and it's God Lucifer, the God of the King James 1611 Bible, and identified in the Torah of the Jews descended from Cain. John 8.44, year of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. Greek Dictionary 844, from 846, and the same as 3155. Self-moved, automatic, that is, spontaneous, of own accord, of self. The marriage supper of the Lamb, 286 in Greek, is Lamb, and 1 is Alpha. And so we have Yahweh's birth, June the 17th, 2 BC, when Venus was in a conjunction with Jupiter, it 88,800 miles wide, and Venus is the morning star. Female married to male. My Yes, Yahweh's just saying that on that date, June the 17th in 1946, he was 888 days old. So Yahweh's age, therefore, on June the 17th, 2013, in weeks, is the same number, 3623. That's the espousal number. 3622.24 3622 weeks and six... <coughs> Days. Three, six, two, three. You can't get much closer. So we see that his age in weeks is three, six, two, two weeks and six days. But as Australia is a day ahead of Rome, the three, six, two, two weeks, six days becomes three, six, two, three weeks. We therefore fulfill the pyramid prophecy that originally caused the rejection of the capstone. Here we see that Psalms 118, that should be 118 verse 22 and Matthew 21 42 predict the following Jesus saith unto them did ye <coughs> never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected the same is become the head of the corner this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes therefore I say unto you the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof Israel is the nations of Europe and England. The throne of David will be taken off you and given to a Gentile nation, Rome. The Jews say they are Israel when in fact they are Mongolian, Khazar, and Europe are Gentile when the opposite is true. Therefore the mother of Solomon was an adulteress, her husband king, and became the ten northern tribes of Israel were dispersed to Europe in 722 BC by the king of Assyria. The descendants of Lot married Sodom and is why the Jews promote homosexuality and child perversions as it is in the Talmud. 
The number 286.1 is seen in the structure in several key dimensions. The Grand Gallery is 286.1 pyramid inches high. The descending passage is 286.1 pyramid inches off centre eastward. The rejected capstone, when it arrived, was 286.1 pyramid inches. Too large. Too large. Revelation 19.19 And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Greek Dictionary 199 Adverb from the same as 196 Exactly, diligently and perfectly. The end. Absolute perfection. Yahweh has uncovered, he has revealed and disclosed, which is the apocalypse, all things, and it is marvellous in our sight.